Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Debbie with Inspirational Goodies and I have another deck walkthrough for you. Today we have the Crystal Grid deck by Mystic Mondays. Now you may have already seen on my channel the Mystic Mondays tarot deck and this is a great companion to use with it to enhance your readings. So um, it's an 80 card deck and I'll show you the cards in a minute. Um, it has this box that I don't like and another box that I also don't like. So <laughs> these boxes will be going into storage and put away, never to be used again by me. Um, the box looks very sturdy, but it has this fuzzy interior that comes off on everything. And this box is extremely hard to open. So love the deck. Don't love the box. Let me set that down. So the deck comes with this super cool fold out. You'll see in a minute why it doesn't have a book. So it has this really cool fold out, goes through all the chakras, a whole bunch of different crystals that are good with different chakras, has how to use the cards, some really fun spreads and grids and all kinds of really cool stuff. So love that. And then we have the cards. They are one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> hexagon. No, six is not hexagon. I don't know. Um, we'll figure it out. Anyway, this card is the black tourmaline. And you will see that all the information is on the back of the card. So it has keywords, it has a whole description, and then it has a zodiac sign and a planet. So there is a lot of really cool information about each crystal along with a really cool image. So let's take a look. I'm obviously not going to read every card to you. Um, I will show you front and back so that you can decide whether this is a deck that you like. Okay, so I pulled two cards that time. So let's make sure we look at the right crystal with the right back. This is the kind of deck that I think it's really important to have a deck walkthrough for you to see before you decide if you're gonna buy it. If you want something with a book, this isn't the deck that you want. If you want something that is quick and easy, this is something that you want. Um, the cardstock is very sturdy. It's very thick. Um, not sure if it's very shuffleable. Um, I haven't played around with that yet. It is um, not huge, but it's not tiny either. Um, their astrology deck is smaller than this one, so. The cards are really interesting. It looks like it's a sticker, but it's not. So, really interesting the way the cards are put together. I'm going to enjoy working with this deck, but again, you have to decide for yourself if this is something you're going to want or not. I will link to where you can purchase the deck and also to the Mystic Mondays website. I'm not crazy about white text on black, but the rest of it is pretty easy to read. Um, yeah, some of these are a little interesting. I'm not seeing that as fluoride, but let's see what this is. Ethiopian opal. Alrighty then. Not sure where they got that. If these are supposed to be realistic photos, some of them are not. 
However, if you just want a representation that you can use in grids, then this would be great. As long as you're understanding that they are representations and not actual, you know, photos. So as you can see, they're all different colors on the back. Um, the backs are not all consistently the same color. I'm thinking that they may be the chakra colors. Yeah, it looks pretty much like they may be the chakra colors. Even though it doesn't list the chakra. On the, and that was interesting. That that has the sun here, but that's Jupiter down there. Oh, maybe Jupiter is on all of them. Okay. Sorry. Well, like I said, take a look at the cards and see if these are your cup of tea or not. Let's see if the next uh, chakra has the same planet. Yeah, because we've switched from, yeah, it looks like that's just an icon that's on all of them. Interesting that that's what they picked. So, overall, I think it's an interesting deck. I'm going to look forward to working with it. I will be starting a Crystal of the Day card that I will be pulling from the several crystal decks that I have now and posting them to the channel. So if you want to learn more about crystals and follow along, you can um, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell. Also, if you're enjoying this walkthrough, whether you like the deck or not, can you please hit like so that I know that um, people like to have the walkthroughs so they can figure out if they want to buy decks or not. What will really be fun, right now uh, my own crystal collection is mostly in storage. I know you see a bunch of them here, but the main um, part of my collection is in storage, so when I move into a place where it can come out of storage. I'm looking forward to combining the cards with the actual real crystal. Like, here's a lapidolite, and I happen to have a lapidolite right here. Now, I wonder what this one is. Or like 23. Okay. I'm going to guess this is Amatrine. Yep. So, like I said, this will be really good for gridding, especially if you don't have some of these more rare and more expensive um, crystals. You can use the cards as a representation as part of a crystal grid that you build for yourself for healing or for protection or whatever you use crystal grids for. That would be my cat who has decided that she wants to join in on the video. You may have heard her in some of the other videos. Oh, 
overall, I think they're very cool cards. I think you just have to be realistic about your expectation of what they're going to look like and represent. There are 80 of them, so that's quite a lot. These I will be keeping in a zipper pouch. That'll be the easiest way to keep them organized. They, um, they're they the kind of thing that once you take them out of the box, they don't fit back in very well. And like I said, the box was very hard to open anyway. So these will be much happier in a zipper pouch or a drawstring bag if you um, like to store your cards that way. They are pretty sturdy. I think they will they will tolerate being in a bag. And I actually have fabric that is gemstones, so that'll make a really good bag for these. So, like I said, I will link to the Mystic Mondays website. I will link to Amazon where you can buy the deck. I will link to my website where you can look for some tarot bags for your own decks and um, also tarot reading cloths like the one that's underneath this. Did I grab two? No, there happens to be a little extra on the edge of this one. Sorry about that, it just kind of threw me off to have all of a sudden extra design on the back. <laughs> and there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this walkthrough and it will help you to decide if this is a deck that you want to purchase or not. Um, leave me a comment if this is a deck you do use or a deck you want to use or a deck you think you would want included in a reading. Yeah, those are not going to be easy to rearrange. So, there you have it. It's my honest walkthrough and opinion on the um, Mystic Mondays Crystal Grid deck.